I want to share this reggae history, which the world does not really know the details and want to appreciate as truth. But these two brethren with whom I went to school in my boyhood days, our boyhood days, at the prestigious Catholic school on North Street in Kingston, Jamaica, St. George's College, renowned as a school of excellence. Yes, there's a lot of us from Trenchtown who went to that school. But I am not here at this moment to tell you to call out the names and let you know the names of all of us who from Trenchtown who did attend that school in the 60s. But on this, I'm here to speak, Hannah, in a memorial of these two first ever Asians to play and record reggae music and the entire planet. On your left is my brethren, Jeffrey Chung. On your right is my brethren, Mikey Chung, Michael Chung. Both of them are brothers. Yes, brothers they are. And I took reggae music from Trenchtown to them, introduced them to the reggae music while in the school, while we were there attending St. George's College, and they took it off to the rest of Jamaica and to the world. Jeffrey became an engineer, a studio engineer, shortly after he graduated from St. George's College, went to Dynamic Studios, was the crucial foundation for many of the early Jamaican reggae music that came out from that studio, Dynamic Studios. Mikey Chung became one of the greatest reggae guitarists, yes, on the planet. Jeffrey passed away sadly in 1995. Mikey passed away in 2021. Both of them passed away from illness. Yes, they did their works for the people. They were the first ever Asians anywhere on the planet to ever play, record, and to help others to learn reggae music and to play and record and to produce reggae music. Jeffrey Chung, as the studio engineer at Dynamic Studios, set the pace and the positive influence so that many others, the likes of the members of Third World Band, some of whom used to attend St. George's College in our days there. Yes, I have written about them. I have told the world about them in my books and my writings, online and offline, over the past 60 years to date, even as I speak. I am here to speak their honor in this memorial for I and we from Trenchtown will never forget anyone who has made this reggae music genre what it is today at the four corners of this planet. My high school brethren, we have so much history, so much history that it would take another lifetime for me to really really tell the world. But I have posted the copyrights for my reggae creation online. You know, when Jamaica was telling, telling the world about who they think created reggae music, <laughs> 
and we from Trenchtown who knew the truth was watching and waiting to see how long it would take them to find the truth and to know the truth. They chose not to come to us who had the truth. No, they did not come to us. There is a lot that they could have learned from I and I, Roscardo, and the Trenchtown people, the Trenchtown crew at that time, but they chose not to. But I've told Jamaica, yes, the late great Jamaican journalist Ian Boyne had a show known as Profile. I was on it. He interviewed I and I. I gave them the history. Kathy Owens, yes, on CVM. She's an anchor for CVM television. I did an interview with her in Jamaica. I gave them the history. Claude Mills, a journalist writer for the Daily Gleaner of Jamaica. I showed him the copyrights at the time when he did an interview and it was posted an article was posted in the daily gleaner in 1998 i know they got the records why they don't want to tell the people the truth that's their problem not ours for Roscardo, I and I, Roscardo and the Trenchtown crew, many of us are still around to tell the truth in this reggae genre creation which came out of Trenchtown. Yes, they know by now, they Jamaica know by now that I have the detail history. They know. I have shared it with them. I've shared it with the world. But I'm not here to talk about me at this time. I'm here to honor my brethren who have passed away and who are pioneers and they are responsible for creating a storm where other Asians that are now following the reggae genre and have joined the reggae genre the likes of people that you heard about producers like Leslie Kang, Byron Lee and his Dragoneers and all the other Asian Jamaicans followed in the footsteps of these two brethren. Yes, even those who follow the VP records, Asians, set of people. Yes, it started with Jeffrey Chung and Mikey Chung, these two brethren, and I, we from Trenchtown from those days, has the definitive, the conclusive, the intracon incontrovertible records and documents, testimonials and otherwise, to prove this truth, which I have told the world over the many years that I've been telling them the truth about reggae music creation and who played a part in its foundation and groundation, as they will call it. Yes, Robbie Lynn, who is still around with us today, even as I, Roscardo, speak, was also there amongst us. Yes, at St. George's College in those times. Robbie Lynn, who has become a leading keyboardist in the reggae music genre. Yes, he is still around with us, and so are many others from Trenchtown, like myself, who used to attend St. George's College along North Street in Kingston, Jamaica. May their soul and their works rest in Jack Kingdom as they now play music with the angels. Yes, Jeffrey and Mikey Chung, we shall never forget our people. We honor our people. And I, Roscardo, has been doing that over the years. Yes, we will never forget any one of us, male or female, 
who have played such a pioneering foundational work in the raga music genre, whether Jamaica feels to honor them or not. We have the history. I, Rascardo, archives have the archival history, the true history, the true reggae history, and I've posted the reggae copyrights creation online for all the world to see. Yes, I am the creator of reggae, the reggae music genre, with Junior Braithwaite, as the world now knows, Gotti Dennis, as the world now knows. Yes, the Wailing Souls, Pipe and Bread and Buddy A, all of us. We come from Trenchtown, Peter Tosh, Bunny. We shall all leave our names there. Rastafari, I know.